talk about magpies. My friend Zulia Kamalova, um, who's a Russian singer, lives in Melbourne, and she, um, uh, when she first got to Australia, she got really intrigued with the birds here because they're very different to the birds in uh, Russia, and um, and she particularly magpies. She really uh, was like amazed by magpie songs. And so she got um, money from the Australia Council to look into, from a musical point of view, why birds sing and why humans sing, and you know, comparing all that. And um, so she got me and a whole bunch of other musicians and an ornithologist in a room together for a week to write a musical. And it was quite, it's a cute, very cute musical called Ornithology. And um, but in the very first meeting, we were sitting around at breakfast time and heard a magpie outside. And and Sully went, Ah, oh, magpies. I wish I knew what they were saying. It's such a beautiful song. And, uh, and the ornithologist Greg said, Oh, magpies are bastards. When you hear the nicest magpie songs, when one's about to rip the head off another one, that's pretty much the story. And, and she was so crestfallen um, that I, I decided to uh, write a song in her honour. And it's from the point of view of an ornithologist having just arrived in Australia and hearing a magpie and questioning the magpie in person in a very Gilbert and Sullivan meets Prokofiev kind of a way. Ha! Here we go. I heard a pretty magpie sing high in a tree. Tell me, dear bird, what you're singing to me. A message of love, of peace and good cheer, of sweet, happy joy for all mankind to hear. Ah, for all mankind to hear. And so the pretty magpie replied in a thrice. Sadly, reality isn't so nice. I'm warning those near of my murderous streak. So clear off or feel the sharp tip of my beak. That's right. Keep away or there may well be blood on the branches. So my foe knows there'll be no second chances. No second chances. It's very easy. Um, pick your octave, pick your part, just where you like, see what comes out. Um, and uh, we'll do the intro again because I stuffed it up. Sorry about that. Are you ready? Actually, if you can do it in the style of a magpie. So if you do, you know that when you, the thing you snore with, your uvula. So if you go, can you ever do that? If you sing through that, you get seagulls, yeah? And if you go, you get uh, pigeons. Yeah? And if you do it up really high and do a little melody, yeah, sort of magpie business. So if you can do this, the middle bit, this opera bar part in magpie style, I'll, I'll do my dance. I'm just going to sound like a seagull because my voice doesn't go that high, but can't do it. Here we go. You ready? Oh, can you do that? Oh, okay. Yeah. One, two. And so the pretty magpie, oh, and to, and so to the magpie I cried in dismay. How could you dare to mislead me this way? The gist of your looting mellifluous song is twisted and foul. Are you sure it's not wrong? Please tell me. Please tell me it's wrong. Then quoth the silly magpie, its beak in a sneer. Humans are hopeless, you have no idea. Your arrogance fully outweighs your true worth. You're just one of billions of species on earth. That's right. And you take no delight in my song of reprisals. Get out of my sight or I'll peck out your eyeballs. Peck out your eyeballs. 